Next on the Dragon Ship, we are going to take a little walk down memory lane and reflect on all those great moments with those new Menisferians. Hafiz, what's up, brother? Thank you for being here, what man. What up, what up, what up? Appreciate the opportunity, my guy. Yes, let's ask the, the single ladies. What would you prefer? I was, what monogamy means to me is someone who's committed to themselves. Mm -hmm. That's like, the answer is within you. And, and I'm not accusing, I'm genuinely asking. Are you sure you're not confusing the amount of time the man spends with you with his monogamy? Because they're different things. It, or damn well believe I titled it, Red Pill is for Losers. And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Air Podcast. Mm -hmm. We're here, Brandon Carter, a.k.a. King Keto, man. Got a good what episode up? planned for you guys. Welcome and to episode one. Episode one. Three times last yeah. week. We had a question that we asked there, and I really love this whole thing because mm -hmm. it kind of it sets up the whole point of this show, right? It's ridiculous. Right? But people say that all the time. Well, what if you stop with crackhead? She got pregnant. Well, I would make that decision not to do that. And What did you learn from Mr. Beast? Um, how to run a brothel. A lot of people don't know that about him, but okay, uh, that's his side hustle. Into sluts, <laughs> loves sl like Mr. Dick and Bowles says, "Hey, Jack." <laughs> See, she, that's what she does. She does this. Like she reads it like that's normal. Like it's not even. She's not even. Just like, I'm not gonna skip the name. She just goes, "Mr. Dick and Bowles said." Could you please clear up the cuck article you wrote? I am not gonna talk about Again? this. Okay. And basically, you know what? <laughs> Fuck you. Me? For bringing this up right here and right now. Me? Why Why are you doing this to me? I didn't know that. I didn't know what it was. Well, just use a little bit of fucking common sense. Sorry, apologies. Yeah. Fuck, uh, you, fuck you. Elizabeth. Heartfelt. Elizabeth. Now, we do hope Mr. Lumbercuck had a better year. At least, we hope Mr. Lumbercuck finished the year off better, that is. Anyways, um, but do you guys think that was it? Do you think that's all we we're going to do? You don't think we were going to talk about ourselves? Oh, here we go. They don't get the they don't get the airplay because it's not as sensational, you see. And especially in our feminist primary social order, testosterone is associated with males. And we'll get into this later. It's males. Is that what it is? No, I actually have a chart here. Mm. If you want to look at what yeah. it is at different yeah. ages for fun, guys, let's take a look. Yeah, I thought okay. eight hundred was the you high can, end. You can feel pretty normal. Up to I, I think. Um, let me let me go back to that for a sec. I think that's actually true. And if men were doing it, all right, 100% of men were doing it, we would be able to protect women's virtue, but that's not going to happen. Another trend, another somewhat ridiculous trend that somebody's putting out there to, I don't know, to negotiate real desire. You just really can't negotiate that. She either wants to be with you or she doesn't. You either want to be with her or you don't. It's inevitable, bro. I mean, it's coming. It doesn't matter one way or another, the, you are the sum of all your choices. And so when you see women like this that have this kind of attitude, man, steer clear. Because let me tell you something. It's not, the juice is definitely – and I'm going to coin Rolo Tomasi right here. The juice is definitely not worth the squeeze. I'll tell you something, man. That This 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 affected me, I think. This, this scripture <laughs> right here affected me more than any other things I learned when I went to church my whole life, bro. I'm going to preface this. Like, okay, so this is in the Garden of Eden, all right? So Adam mm. and Eve just ate the fruit that they weren't supposed to eat, and God found them, and then they're wearing fig leaves. And, you know, he's now rendering his – um, punishment upon both Adam and Eve. Okay. And right now he just finished talking to Adam. Adam so now he's addressing Eve. Genesis 316 in the New Living Translation. Then he said to the woman, I will sharpen the pain of your pregnancy. And in the pain you will give birth. You will desire to control your husband, but he will rule over you. God, dude. Wow, that was a lot. And you know what? I'm still trying to recover from learning that Eve is the reason why we have feminism. Dumb bitch. But anyways, make sure that you join us this Saturday while we go through the top moments of 2022. Only on the Dragon Ship. 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 1.30 Eastern.